Tyson, long week of practices. It gets to this first game of the regular season. How excited are you for opening night? Uh, really excited, and I can't wait. And uh, just uh, the warm-up, the first few steps on the ice are going to be big, and uh, just I'm ready for it. Even throughout the, the week, it seems like there's been a lot of team building, a lot of that uh, for the group. How has this group kind of come together in such a short period of time? Uh, honestly, we're all new to, to each other, so a lot of uh, new guys here. So it's just been fun to have a great team bonding this week. And uh, I think we, everybody talks to everybody, and the team chemistry is already building, so it's, it's pretty nice. Being one of the young guys, has one of the older guys or defensemen kind of taken you under their wing and kind of shown you the ropes? Oh yeah, a lot of uh, new tricks, uh, new drills. I didn't, I didn't practice before. It's, uh, it's a lot, a lot of new to me, but uh, it's fun and uh, just uh, the, their leadership and everything. It's really good for uh, us young guys uh, joining up the league. With your, you know, first year pro, what advice have these guys given you to get ready for that first game? Even from the coaches as well as you get set for uh, tomorrow. Uh, just be ready physically, uh, you know, you get a little stretch, a little warm up, and uh, uh, it's a huge step. The, the guys are bigger or faster, so uh, I think preseason and everything was uh, was a good step up for us. But for me, uh, obviously, the, the, the season is gonna, it's gonna step up real good and it's coming fast, so I, I just need to be ready mentally and be focused before games and everything. You got a little taste of them on Sunday, and now you're getting to the, the real thing. It's pretty much their regular roster it seemed like they threw out there on Sunday uh, how are you guys ready to combat you know your this time around with your roster uh, we had uh, a lot of new guys experienced guys in the lineup uh, for tomorrow so I think uh, they're gonna bring, bring uh, good leadership and they have obviously a lot of uh, uh, I mean they, they've been there they, they've played against these guys so it's gonna, it's gonna help us our young guys and to be uh, we're just gonna be lead lead behind them and it's gonna be good for us you got your first taste of the goals rain rivalry on Sunday, but this time it's the first regular season. Uh, what are your expectations going into Friday? Uh, a lot of ex excitement. It's going to be hard. It's going to be physical. There's preseason and there was two fights already, so I think uh, it's going to be fun and uh, it's going to be good hockey for sure. And what's it like to uh, be under a defenseman like Trevor Carrick, veterans and the league? Uh, you know, there's Whitey, there's Hags, there's Trevor Carrick, Harrington too. They're all the uh, veteran Ds and they have a lot of experience. So it's just fun to be around them and little tips and tricks that uh, give me to uh, the next step and the next level for, for sure. It's fun. Thanks. You got uh, Zelly and uh, Ghost back in there. Uh, Teaming up again after World Juniors, you know, how's it like being with them again? Uh, it's just fun to be around them. You know, uh, Goshe is a guy that I, I know for a long time. He's a Quebec guy, so we've been around since we're young. And Zelly is for sure fun to see him here since uh, we got drafted together, and then World Juniors, and then uh, uh, playing on the same team. So it's it's just fun to have family, uh, familiar faces in, and uh, just fun to be around them. And they're they're great guys, great players too, and they love the game. So it's just fun to be around them. Okay, or living together. How's that been so far? Uh, it's been okay. We're being sending us, us in, and uh, he's been cooking uh, pretty good. So uh, it's it's fun, and uh, it's just it's fun to uh, a nice adjustment from junior hockey. And I know Goshi pretty well, so it's just fun to live with him. And it's a nice uh, setup for me over there. Tags, welcome back. What's it like to be with the organization again? Ah, uh, it's exciting. It's um, somewhere that I had a lot of fun uh, when I was here last time, and um, you know to be back and. Uh, to be with the organization again. It's uh, it's going to be a great year. Have you noticed any differences from the last time? I mean, clearly you can do coaching staff and everything there, but even just around the organization style-wise, have you noticed? What have you noticed? I guess that it's been different. Yeah, I think it's the energy of of what they're building here as an organization with so many good pieces in place, both in Anaheim and here. So there's a general sense of excitement for uh, for both teams this season. Uh, for the organization style-wise, does this feel like this was the fit? for you when you kind of learned about uh, what this organization was looking to do? I think so. I think, you know, with what I can bring, I think it fits well with uh, the kind of the youth movement they have going on here. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's a great fit, and I think it can uh, be, work out great for everybody. Uh, opening night tomorrow, do you still get excited for that first game of the season? Yeah, I think the first game is always a different feel than, um, than most. Um, you know, you're still getting to know your teammates, getting to know the system and everything. So it's one of those times you can kind of just go out there, forget about everything, just play. And, um, you know, to get the season started, it's been a long month of camps and, uh, and whatnot. So it's, um, yeah, you always get excited for it. You are well aware of the rivalry between the Ontario Reign and, and San Diego Gall's been through it and, and you've played against the Reign. You've been in that building. 
What does that mean to open the season against a group like that and really set the tone for the year? Yeah, well, not just one, but three games. <laughs> so it's, it's an important set for us, um, especially with the way the divisional playoffs work. I think anytime you play division games, you really can't overlook the fact of how important they can be uh, down the stretch. And uh, it's a team chemistry is, can sometimes take a while to, uh, to work together. But uh, what, how do you feel the team is chemistry-wise? I think it's I think it's getting pretty close. We did a lot of uh, team bonding uh, this week. We had a couple activities that we kind of ran through that um, you know kind of expose you to certain guys that you haven't really spoke to yet or haven't got a chance to know. So I think that helps a lot. But I think uh, you know we've been having fun this week, and I think we're building towards um, some good team chemistry. And how have practices gone this week? I'm getting ready for tomorrow. Good. I think a little fine tuning of of how we want to you know approach this weekend, but. Um, you know, the practice were up tempo. There was a lot of energy, so it, hopefully that translates to to the start. Matt, get your full week of practices ready for the regular season. How's the uh, how's the group looking and getting excited for opening day? Yeah, the piece by piece. I feel like we're making some good steps this week. Good progress. Uh, good to see the team kind of like gelled together a little bit this week too. I thought our team building day was excellent. Um, our guys uh, have had uh, you know excellent uh, focus and practice, and yeah, we're ready for Ontario guys were talking about the team building exercises and the stuff you did over the week. What went into it and, and how did you guys get that together? What did you guys go do? Um, we went up and did a, a high ropes course, which was really cool. Um, you know, we thought that uh, coming together as a new group and learning about each other as early as possible, it would just set us up for success down the road. Uh, we want to get connected as quickly as we can um, and start to build those uncommon bonds that, that really matter for us. A lot of special teams work we kind of saw the last two days. Now that you kind of have your roster set, do you like where your group is at? How hard is it to develop that chemistry just uh, for, for the special teams unit when they're just kind of coming together? Special teams takes time, and that's why we, we dedicate time to it. It's also important. Um, you know, we thought it'd be good to uh, get our power play, you know, some, some opportunity together so they can talk through some stuff in the last couple of days. Uh, but, yeah, we're, uh, um, it's good to spend time on it. You saw a little bit of their roster already. When it comes to the beginning of the season, are you more focused on what the other team's doing, or is it more on getting your group together and focusing on what they need to do on the ice? I think our primary focus is certainly on us, but I think you're making a mistake if you don't have a plan for what the opponent's doing. And so we learned a bit about Ontario uh, in the last game, and uh, that's you know brought itself into practice somehow this week and certainly our meetings. Opening night tomorrow, I mean, how excited are you for your first regular season debut behind the bench in the NHL team. No, I'm excited. Yeah, this is uh, this is cool. Um, you know, a, uh, you start dreaming about it, you know, in over the summer and, you know, and then camp comes and it's so exciting. And, you know, the, the fact that it's here already. Um, yeah, I'm thrilled. And for the guys in the room, I'm sure you get some veterans, you get some young guys. How do you keep them even keel as well? There's an excitement level. Yeah, opening weekend, but it's it's time for to get the business done. Yeah, I, you know, learning how to perform under pressure is a real skill set, and uh, there's no better place to start than in game one. And team chemistry can sometimes take a while to build. Uh, what, where do you think the team is right now? Uh, we're building. Yeah, that's certainly the phase that we're in at this point in the season. Um, you know, some guys, you know, maybe haven't had conversations with each other as of a couple weeks ago. And, um, you know, having the opportunity to, um, you know, accelerate that process was something we were really trying to do this week and, and get to know one another. And as the defensive pairings that we saw in practice today, is that something that you're going to see in games? Um, yeah, I think we'll... We'll probably stick uh, mostly with the, the deep pairings that we have in practice, but those things are subject to change all the time. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about, uh, with uh, Trevor Carrick and Drew Hellison both together? Um, so Trevor certainly brings uh, a certain level of experience with, with the league, um, a lot of success with the league. Uh, and Drew, um, you know, was a great ready lefty pair for him. Um, you know, we think that D pair for us will be really hard to play against. Um, they should be able to, to shut down any other team's uh, top group, um, and they, they should be able to help us to advance our game plan as well. Colton, year two with this organization, what have you noticed the differences from last year to this year? Yeah, I just think uh, overall there's a, a bigger sense and bigger emphasis on the positivity and the energy around the room. Uh, Lots of chatter on the ice and the work habits and the standards that are, are being set to, are much higher than last year for sure. Tell me about that, that, that energy. We can see it you know, from the bench and just watching practice. How would you describe what the energy is like on the ice with this group and even in the locker room? 
Yeah, like I said, it's just positive. Um, it starts from the top down with the coaches and then the leadership. Uh, we got a couple older guys that are setting the standard, um, and that just trickles down to everyone. Um, and we just got to continue to do that and start here on Friday. With a couple of days leading up to the, the first game in the regular season, what does this team need to do, and what are you guys working on uh, in the couple of days you have before the opener? Yeah, I think uh, just getting to know everyone. It's our first week together, um, communicating on the ice, and then also just sticking within our structure, working on our four check, our D zone coverage, that sort of thing, and then uh, just sticking to good work habits and competing on pucks, and, and that'll translate to Friday. I know you didn't play on, on Sunday, but getting a look at what looked like the Reigns AHL roster that was out there for that game, does that give you guys an idea of what to look for come Friday, Sunday, and even next Friday? Because you're going to see these guys three times in a row. Yeah, um, anytime you have a little stretch like that against the team, you get to know their tendencies, and then you can sort of pick them apart, uh, if you will, and, and sort of make some reads on what they're doing and then make adjustments uh, as we go along here. Uh, what do you get from um, practice and um, getting to play with players for the first time? Um, yeah, I think it's just uh, getting used to everyone. Um, I think uh, a lot of guys have different tendencies, whether you're an offensive defenseman or a stay-at-home kind of guy, um, or even the forwards. Uh, some centermen are two-way, um, so I think you're just reading off of teammates and learning what they can do, too. And how much stock do you put into a preseason game, especially one that you're going you're gonna to be facing them again on Friday, so you don't want to give them their entire, the entire playbook? Yeah, I think uh, obviously individually you're trying to work on your own game and try to feel the best you can going into the season. And then uh, as a team, as collectively, um, I think we're working on our systems and getting the kinks out just so we can uh, hit the ground running on Friday.